Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I'm back for another kind of a unique gaming video this time. <clears throat> As you can tell, we are not looking at something on my computer or Xbox. We are looking in my apartment here. I'm sitting on the couch, and we're looking at my cool little Ed 209 statue. And we are also looking at my Amazon Echo. So, I've thought about doing something like this for a little while now. Um... And I figured, you know what, let's uh, give this a shot. Um, I forgot how much I covered in the original video, and when I did the original video, uh, things were still kind of early on in what uh, what the Echo could do. I almost said her name, and I was trying to avoid that because otherwise she'll try to do stuff. So, um, basically, over time, Amazon has added a lot of skills to the Echo, um, because they've kind of made an API, programming API, for other developers to add to these different skills to the Echo and the upcoming other Echo devices, the Echo Dot and the Echo, um, or the Amazon Tap, which I should be getting in the next couple of months to show you guys. So I just have my traditional, original Echo here, and um, so the skills that can be added, um, you go into the app, you go download the Amazon Echo app. Um, it's actually called Her Name, which, again, I'm not saying at the moment. But, um, under the skills section, you can peruse through, there's like pages and pages. I think last I looked there were like 36 or 37 pages worth of, um, <clears throat> of different skills that you could choose to enable. Now... And I did write to Amazon about this just the other day. One of the major problems that I have, I love the fact that you're able to actually enable all of these extra skills because some of them are actually, very, you know, they range from very useful to stupid to entertaining to, you know, something more interactive. Um, the problem is, is there's getting to be so many and I forget exactly either A, <clears throat> what the skill is actually called, or B, the key phrase in order to activate it. For instance, um, I'm going to show you some games today. Yes, you can actually kick back and maybe you get home, you don't want to look at a screen again, but you want to do something a little more interactive than listen to a podcast or a book or, a, you know, something like that. You can play games with the Echo. Um, and there's a few of them that are actually pretty cool. One of them I would like to show you, but I can't remember the name of it. And it's buried way down in the skills somewhere that I don't really want to find right now. Basically, it's a word game where she'll say a word. And then, let's say the word, I don't know, computer. And then I would have to say a word that started with R. So I might say, I don't know regular and then she would have to say something that's so it's you're going back and forth and you have to say a word that starts with the letter uh, that the last word ended with and you're also trying to use big words because the more wor the more letters and stuff you get you know the higher points you get which is actually pretty fun the problem is i can't remember what the name of the game is and here is my problem with the app and some of the skills in general and I, I, again, I wrote to Amazon about this, um, and they're going to take it into consideration, hopefully. They're really, you know, you can go to the skills section and they just, you can search the skills or you can just keep going through pages and pages of these skills. The problem is you really, really need a tab or a section in the app at the very least to just show the list of skills that you have chosen to activate on your Echo. Because, like I said, sometimes I might remember the name of... There's a couple skills like that I'll hopefully be able to remember and demonstrate for you. Um, where I remember the, uh, the name of the skill, but you have to say something a little bit weird. And that's a thing maybe that also could be improved. Instead of just having one key way to enable a skill or to add, do a task, you know, maybe put have it so the developer can put in okay, uh, I want to play this game, or I want to, you know, have a couple variants of it. 
so that you can, like I said, know the right phrase or be able to open the app when you can't remember. Hey, I didn't tell you to wake up. Yeah, yeah I don't know what that was about. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Um, so those are the negative things I really have to say about the skills. I mean, I think it's fantastic that they're doing that and, you know, that there's more skills being added constantly. Um, but there really needs to be a way in the app. And I should be able to ask her, you know, ask Echo, um, what skills do you have active? You know, and then she could list a couple, you know, list the ones that I've chosen to activate. And then I go, oh, that's the one I wanted. So enough of um, the overview. Let's play a couple of games with Echo. So, for instance, I could say, Alexa, play Jeopardy. Welcome to Jeopardy J6. Six new clues every weekday. There are no new clues today. Would you like to play the clues from Friday? Yes. The first category is... The Entertainment Business. Arnold's Drive-In was a popular hangout on this sitcom. Oh, man. Um... Please answer in the form of a question starting with phrases like, Who is? Or, What is? I don't remember. Please answer in the form of a question starting with phrases like, Who is? Or, What is? Okay, I somehow, I didn't get it to, sometimes if I wait, it will just say, do you want to give up or do you want the answer? And it'll say, and you'll say yes. Uh, I should have warned you right away. It's like, I suck at Jeopardy. <laughs> so, um, but you're basically, you're given, was it five questions? And you can, I should know, God, I should know the answer to that question. I know people are just writing and going, you're an idiot. You should know this. And I probably should. Um, but you can play Jeopardy, uh, and you can do it once per day, per weekday, as she told you there. Uh, let's do something that I'm maybe a little bit, maybe hopefully better qualified. Alexa, play Simpsons Trivia. Welcome to Simpsons Trivia. I will ask you five questions. Try to get as many right as you can. Just say the number of the answer. Let's begin dot question one. What did Bart name his elephant? One, Dumbo. Two, Stumpy. Three, Stampy. Four, Itchy. Three. That answer is correct. Your score is one. Question two, Crab Juice or Mountain Dew? One, you woo. I'll take a Mountain Dew. Two, you woo. I'll take a Crab Juice. Three, who can choose? One of each, please. Four, I'll just have a tab. Two. That answer is correct. Your score is two. Question three. Where does Milhouse's dad work? One. It is never revealed. Two. Mm. The Quickie Mart. Three. The nuclear power plant. Mm -mm. Four. The Cracker Factory. Four? That answer is correct. Your score is three. Question four. Which of these was not a real grievance Frank Grimes had against Homer? One. Calling him grimy. Two. Eating Grimes' special dietetic lunch. Three, using Grimes' personalized stationery. Four, being named employee of the month. Two? That answer is wrong. The correct answer is being named employee of the month. Oh, Your I thought he was. Three. Shoot. Question five. What happens to Poochie at the conclusion of his short-lived career on the Itchy and Scratchy show? One. He chases a ball off a cliff. Two, a much cooler dog replaces his character. Three, he dies on the way back to his home planet. Four, he stars in his own Poochie spinoff. Question five. What happens to Poochie? I don't remember. I thought he just went away. Career on the Itchy and Scratchy show. Hmm. One, he chases a ball off a cliff. Two. A much cooler dog replaces his character. No. Three. He dies on the way back to his home planet. Four. 
He stars in his own Poochie spinoff. Three. Let's just say three. That answer is correct. No, I didn't realize he died. I thought he just correct. went away. Icaramba. Thank you for <laughs> Icaramba. All right, so there's a quick little game. Um, so there are a few different trivia things that you can do. Um, that's a couple examples. Like I said, the Jeopardy one is pretty cool because you have to answer just like you would in Jeopardy, you know, with the answer like it was a question. Um, <clears throat> let's end with, because I'll show you one other one that's kind of neat. Uh, and this actually ends up being a promo material um, that I didn't realize, but it's still kind of neat. Um, I don't know if I'll play the whole thing, but we'll start it anyway. Alexa, play the Wayne Investigation. I can't find the song Wayne Investigation in your music library or in Prime Music. Alexa, play the Wayne Investigation. Thanks for joining us on Gotham's WGTU News. Our top story, officials may have found new clues regarding last year's strange meteor crash in Kansas. We'll have a full report. Also tonight, with the robbery homicide of billionaire industrialist Thomas Wayne and his wife, Martha, remaining unsolved, police are now hunting for clues near the Aragon Theater. In this choose-your-own-adventure mystery, you'll play a detective investigating the murder of Bruce Wayne's parents. During the game, you can say repeat options, go back, or skip. For further assistance, say help. When you're ready to begin, say begin. Begin. You arrive at the crime scene, a darkened street under an elevated railway. Stepping under the yellow police tape, you pick your way carefully across the wet, thrash-strewn asphalt. In the dim light, past the chalk outlines of the two bodies, you look down and see a torn movie ticket stub. To the right, you spot a broken string of pearls, and off to the left, in that shallow puddle. Is that a spent bullet shell? Which item would you like to pick up? You can say, pearls, ticket, or shell. Shell. You pick up the shell and notice a faint etching on the side. Gotham Munitions Limited. What would you like to do? You can say, visit Crime Lab, or visit Gotham Munitions. Visit Go Gotham Music... Uh, I can't talk. Visit... Okay, I'm not sure where I'm going. I just completely biffed that. <laughs> you pull up along one of Gotham's most forlorn-looking streets. In a part of town, even cops don't like to patrol. Above a gated storefront, you spot a faded sign. Gotham Munitions. There we go. That's what I wanted. You're greeted at the door by a short, rotund older man with a greasy comb over. He eyes you suspiciously as he rolls a fat cigar from one corner of his mouth to the other. You flash your badge at him. Huh. I thought I smelled bacon. Uh, I mean, uh, how can I help you, detective? <laughs> What should we do now? You can say, look around, or show him shell. Show him shell. The man examines the bullet shell and raises an eyebrow before clearing his throat. <clears> throat> we haven't made these bullets for years. If you found it somewhere, someone got a hold of a bunch of old ammo, and you're barking up the wrong tree. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to get back to work. The man ushers you out. You hear the door lock behind you as you make your way back to your car. Bummer. Hmm. Maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Mm. Ha ha. Try the other option. Ha uh ha. -huh. Say, look around. Look around. You begin walking around the bins of ammunition and rifle racks toward the back of the store, where a series of desks face a wall. The short man starts walking after you hurriedly. Hey, hey! You got a warrant? Piles of yellowing receipts and file folders litter the desks. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot a folder marked Cobblepot. The name rings a bell. Where have you seen it before? You start to pull the folder out from under the pile to take a closer look. The man snatches it away. You mind telling me what you're looking for, detective? Now you remember. There was a story in the papers about a business deal between the Cobblepots and the Wings that went sour. 
the gun store owner be hiding something? Looks like you've got a decision to make. You can say, get search warrant, or visit Cobblepot. Visit Cobblepot. I like the narrator in this game so far. I I played it once through before with a different option. A I took the ticket to the last estate, time. Which sits on a hill just on the outskirts of Gotham. You pull up to a circular drive. And this is all new to me. Bird bats, two bird sculptures purchased stride the front door of the large Tudor mansion. Even the shrubbery has been trimmed into a gaggle of avian shapes. A butler greets you at the door and ushers you inside. A portly man in a tweed jacket puts down his cigarette holder as he rises from an armchair. Ah, detective. Pleased to meet you. Tucker Cobblepot. Welcome to our little nest, as my wife likes to call it. <laughs> what can I do for you? The choice is yours. You can say, ask about Wayne's. Or ask about gun receipt. Ask about gun receipt. You tell Cobblepot you're investigating the murders of Thomas and Martha Wayne and that you happen to see a receipt in his name at Gotham Munitions. What did he purchase there and when? Cobblepot picks up his cigarette holder and cracks a wry smile. Hmm. Is this how they're training officers to do detective work these days? spot a bit of circumstantial evidence and then try to hook one of Gotham's most prominent philanthropists with That's not gonna a work thinly out right. veiled accusation of murder. I am not impressed. Humboldt, please show the detective out and don't return until you've learned some manners. <laughs> oh dear, looks like you've insulted the man. Didn't they teach you people skills at the police academy? <laughs> try the other option. Say, ask about Wayne's. Alexa, stop. Thank you for playing the Wayne investigation. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, in theaters March 25th. Goodbye. So, <clears throat> I kind of purposely chose a couple options. Or the first one, I, I legitly didn't. Um, I thought it would have been okay. Um, but <clears throat> the second one, I thought, ah, that's probably going to make him a little mad. Um, and I wanted to kind of end it before, you know, not maybe not do the whole investigation. But what's interesting about that, there's actually quite a bit of um, choices in there. Because when you start the game and you could pick between like the receipt, the bullet, and the necklace or whatever. Um, I did the the ticket receipt last time. And I the whole game was completely different. Like I went to a, a theater, I went to another location and, um, got some clues a totally different way. So, and, and like I said, I really like the narrator in that. So I would like to actually see, uh, more things like that. I mean, I don't care if that's like a promo for Batman versus Superman. I thought it was actually kind of, you know, pretty well done. So, you know, I could see actual, you know, doing more of these almost like choice, uh, like interactive novels or, or not novels, but interactive stories, uh, you know, choose your own adventure sort of deals and, you know, put the work into, you know, making them nice audio. You know, it, it's, it works really well. Um, and you can just, you know, like I said, I can kick back in my recliner over there or on my couch and, you know, just say, I just want to start a skill and be told a story or do some trivia or a couple of other things. Like I said, that word game, I wish I could remember what that was called because I've tried that one a couple times, but it's been a while and I can't remember the key phrase to do it. Um, but that's just an, a really quick start, a little, little quick look at how the Echo and uh, the upcoming Echo family of devices some of the skills in there are actually pretty cool, and you can do some uh, some basic games. You can play some games with the Echo a little bit. Um, I know this game. I know this video is just mainly about games, but I will show you something that is actually really kind of cool. And the only thing that I will say is that I I hope in the near future that we're given the ability to speed up the Echo's voice. And to speed up other audio content. Um, because I, I happen to know that I have a, 
I have books on both Kindle and Audible. And if I were able to speed those up, you can actually listen to both Kindle books and Audible books on your Echo device. So anything that, you know, any of these Echo devices that are coming out or the original Echo, you can. So I could say, Alexa, read Masters of Doom from Audible. Getting your book from Audible. Resuming Masters of Doom. Introduction. The Two Johns. And we're actually being read to by Will there Wheaton, which games. is kind of cool. One was played in life. The other was lived in play. Naturally, these worlds collided. And so did the two Johns. So if I could speed that it up a little bit, that'd be cool. In April 2000, I'm just so used to having things read Dallas. faster. The occasion was a $100,000 prize tournament of the computer game Quake 3 Arena. Hosted by the Cyber Athlete Professional League, an organization Alexa, that hopes to be... Alexa, stop. And I can also, because I know I happen to have that book in the Kindle format, I can say, Alexa, read Masters of Doom from Kindle. Masters of Doom, how two guys created an empire and transformed pop culture by David Kushner. Reading from Kindle. Did you know Audible has audiobooks performed by gifted actors? Check out audible.com. I do. <laughs> it happened one afternoon in April 2000 in the bowels of downtown Dallas. The occasion was a $100,000 prize tournament of the computer game Quake 3 Arena. So it's I don't mind her voice. Professional League, an organization that hoped to become the NFL of the medium. The gathering was Bioc. Bring your own computer. Mm. Hundreds of machines were networked together in the basement of the Hyatt Hotel for Alexa, 72 hours. Alexa, stop. So that's just a really quick tease. Um, I really like the fact that you can do Audible and Kindle books, both of which, of course, are now part of the Amazon universe. And I haven't really read enough to know, you know, when it did the Audible, it said resuming, but it's probably just by, like, chapter or something. So, you know, I don't know how well it works as far as being able to resume in the middle of a book. I'd have to read a little bit longer and experiment with that. But the point is, like, instead of wearing headphones, like, if maybe if I wanted to play a game where I didn't, you know, maybe I wanted to play Minecraft or a couple other, th you know, something where I didn't really need to hear the game itself, and I didn't want to wear headphones, yeah. It, it, especially, you know, I like the Alexa voice, and it, um, you know, if, if I could speed her up a little bit, okay, quite a bit, <laughs> at least for when reading, but, um, yeah, I... I I think I would actually like to read Kindle books that way. As a matter of fact, if it was smooth enough, I actually would kind of prefer, I think, to read Kindle books that way because that's just going on ambiently in the background. And instead of using my Kindle app, you know, when I have the Kindle app going, I have to have my screen unlocked on my phone. You know, whereas this, I could just uh, have the Kindle book going and, you know, away we go. Audible, I don't think we're going to get much speed, maybe a little bit eventually. Um, even the Audible app isn't, you know, very fast. But it is cool. Like, if you don't care, you know, if you don't mind and you just read things like other pe normal people do, <laughs> um, you know, where you read things at normal speed, um, this is a really cool feature. So there's a lot you can actually do um, beyond the, like, ask it questions and, you know, ask about the weather and do a couple of other odds and ends. Um... I think the feature is called Milo. There's one other thing I can do. Um, let's ask Alexa. Ask Milo when the next episode of Better Call Saul is on. Hmm. I'm not sure what you meant by that question. Okay, maybe I got that wrong. But there there are a couple... See, that's... It ties back to right at the beginning of the video. Um... There really has got to be a little bit smoother way for her to maybe interpret what you mean, where I would love to be able to just say, when is the next episode of Better Call Saul on? And it would just know, oh, this is this this is part of this skill that you've enabled. And you don't have to say, use this skill to do this thing and ask it how the, you know, the, you have to kind of remember a certain syntax at this point. 
which isn't necessarily bad, but I would love to see as uh, it grows, maybe have it be a little bit more intuitive. Um, and like I said, I as more skills get added and as I enable more, I can't remember all the names of them and I can't remember exactly what to say to enable them. So that's just a really kind of a, an updated peek at some of the um, kind of the lighter gaming possibilities of uh, the Amazon Echo family of devices. So yes, you can actually play games with your Echo. So we'll wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And um, like I said, I will be covering the other upcoming uh, Echo products soon, the Dot and the um, and the uh, Tap, which I actually ordered through my Echo, my current Echo, which was kind of a surprisingly easy and scarily easy uh, experience. I just said, hey, um, I order one of these devices. She said, okay, it's this much. Do you want to do it? And I said, yep. And she's like, all right. <laughs> it was just super easy. Uh, and it's just kind of scary, actually, how easy it was. But um, <clears throat> so we'll be coming covering those when I eventually get them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.